To read a book. To watch the sunset. To ride a bicycle. To drive a car. Go to school. Or simply watch your children play. These are all activities which many of us take for granted, but for millions of Nigerians, these simple pleasures of life are luxuries far beyond their reach because they simply cannot see. In Nigeria, as in many developing countries around the world, blindness can completely incapacitate the sufferer, denying them of the ability to earn a living and creating a cascading effect of deprivation across the society. Today, the leading cause of blindness amongst Nigerians is cataracts, a form of blindness that is both preventable and curable. Other challenges include glaucoma and squint, also known as cross eye or half past four eye. All of these have caused Nigerians untold misery over the years and even turned able bodied men into beggars on the street. As a caring corporate member of the community, First City Monument Bank, FCMB, dedicates itself to community investment initiatives within the predefined focal areas of poverty alleviation, economic empowerment and environmental sustainability. The objective of FCMB's corporate social responsibility initiatives are always in the direction of measurable impact and long-term sustainability. Amongst the many gifts which FCMB has offered its country by way of community investment, the priceless gift of sight is arguably the most profound and most appreciated as it is characterized by its life-changing effect on the beneficiaries. One of the most pressing challenges that face Nigerian citizens is inadequate access to high-quality health care and specialty services is dire. So as a program which reflects its moral compass, FCMB has been collaborating with TCF, the Tulsi Chanrai Foundation, to provide ophthalmological care to those who would otherwise have been unable to afford it, irrespective of their religion, age or ethnicity. The Tusi Chanrai Foundation TCF has served the Nigerian community for over 20 years and in 2010 FCMB through TCF gave the priceless gift of sight to more than 5,900 beneficiaries across the nation with a pediatric ophthalmological screening exercise for 5,000 children in May and over 900 surgeries for youths and adults in December 2010. At the TCF's Oweri Eye Center, as in other locations, the local FCMB team engaged the beneficiaries of the surgeries in their native languages and each had a moving story to tell. First, about the loss and then about the miraculous recovery of their vision. At TCF's Yola Eye Center, patients from as far away as Bauchi, Taraba, Zamfara and Maiduguri who had all along believed they would never regain their sight were seen again for the first time in years.
In speaking to some of the patients before their surgeries, we came to learn the various ways in which the patients had progressively become blinded by cataracts. We also gathered that many had previously visited eye hospitals but could not afford the surgeries they needed. Many danced with joy when their bandages were removed and they realized that they would be able to see again. Many other beneficiaries of these surgeries had become a burden to their relatives, but with this singular gift from the bank, both the beneficiaries and their close relatives have been empowered to live fuller, happier lives. And just as important is the fact that TCF also utilizes the opportunity of this program to train and enhance the skills of local medical staff. Yet, more work must be done. Even as the teams left the hospital, hundreds of needy patients were waiting for their own surgeries, praying that FCMB would continue to collaborate with the likes of the Tusi Chan Rai Foundation. To